Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's third video. Going to have a look at the weather. Let's take 14 days for today's third video. Day 10 will take us to the 28th of April. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extra GFS and ECM ensembles. Later on during the weeks, we'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that will get us towards the uh, middle stage of May. Can you believe it? Wow, wow, wow. So I should get on with that for you in a moment. Just a Say that first a video release today was the 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, and we've also uh, released the EC uh, 30 day uh, extended forecast for UK and for Western Europe, too. Please like, share, subscribe on those videos. Thank you so much for doing that. Go on, Enzo El Nino update coming up for you at 7 p.m. this evening. El Nino watch on the way. Wow, wow, wow. Bonus video will be very exciting. That's coming up. At seven. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday as well. Right, going to start off with BCT. Searching temperature as it ticked up a little bit and uh, is uh, now sitting at 8.3, which is 0.5 degree above 61 1990 average. That is provisional to uh, yesterday, to the 17th of, uh, of April. That will tick up a little bit more, and they'll probably start dropping uh, towards the end of week as we pull in as we pull in cooler air from the east. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles on Aberdeen today, the red line, is the 30-year upper air temperature average for Aberdeen. We're starting off around to a little bit above average at the moment in terms of the upper air temperatures. It's actually a little bit warmer further north than it is further south. Hello, you can see the cold snap that's coming up over the weekend and into uh, next week. Quite clearly defined colder interlude there starting for around the 22nd, 23rd of April and going on to around the 27th, 28th, something like that. And becoming really quite cold, actually, for Aberdeen. It's normally based, so Aberdeen will be in the five line, of course, with this. But going to between minus 5 and minus 10, uh, 858 PA, suggests there could be some uh, wintry showers coming along uh, there. A recovery in the upper air temperatures at the very end of the month, at month's end, and into the beginning of May. Just seeing those upper air temperatures starting to lift back up closer to normal. Precipitation-wise, going to be a lot of dry weather over the next few days as well, with high pressure dominating from Scandinavia. Then turns uh, more unsettled, turns more showering as it starts to become colder. So uh, temperatures will drop, both the upper air temperatures, so temperatures will drop, and there will be some showering conditions as well. They may be wintry up in the north. Have a look at Snow Road for Aberdeen in a moment. And then beyond that, into the end of April and the beginning of May, just sort of rather showery, Ben, with a fair few precipitation spikes coming through. Snow Road for Aberdeen looks like this. So not exceptionally snowy, but there are some spikes there particularly around the 25th and the 26th of April. It doesn't look like it'll be widespread uh, disruptive snow. No, there could be some wintry showers coming along. Going a little bit further south to Leeds. Where we've seen a few uh, snow spikes as well. Fewer than in Aberdeen. If you go further south than that to London, then basically there's not much chance of uh, any snow um, that far south. Temperature anomaly is on the 18th, 26th of April, coming out colder than average, a golden average week to come, not just for the UK, but through most parts of Western Europe, it has to be said. And uh, precipitation anomaly is on the 18th to the 26th of April, they're coming out drier than average across Scotland and Ireland, a little bit wetter than average though for eastern parts of England, and that's because of low pressure coming in with these east winds later on uh, this week. Latest wind from that from EarthNoldSchool.net shows that I've got a proper easterly blowing today, courtesy of the uh, Scandi High. So there's an area of high pressure sitting up here over Scandinavia, and that is pulling wind out of the Baltic Sea and across um, across northern and western parts of Europe. At the moment, that's relatively mild easterly, but there is some colder air lurking with that easterly around here. Uh, and eventually we'll start to drag in that cooler or colder air with those east winds through the second half of the week. Right, let's go to the chart data then. This is how latest you can make your run is looking for midnight on Friday. Uh, big blocking area of high pressure from Iceland to Norway uh, and uh, low pressure, a little trough of low running underneath across southern parts of England 
spring showers or maybe into long spells of rain into Saturday. Again, looking rather chilly with those easy winds and low pressures gradually taking over it as we go through uh, the weekend. So this was rather strange. We've got an area of low pressure just there, another low just there, and another low just there, suggesting that weekend could be rather cold and wet. All those areas of low pressure sort of amalgamate and push off to the east to the open up next week, turning wind into a cold north or northeast. So down comes that cold air then from the cold from the north from the northeast as the area of low pressure clears away. I can't. Again, there's a little trough running in across the south and the southeast on Friday, bringing showery uh, conditions. Low, low pressure still there in the south and southeast into Saturday as well. Uh, then through the early part of next week, we start pulling those cold north north east. Most of the low pressure being held at bay with Icon. So Icon isn't as is, isn't as unsettled as the UK Met Euro run is. Um, but nevertheless, still uh, quite cold through the open next week. with winds in from the north and from the northeast. It all goes rather slack by the time you get through to Tuesday. But still being relatively cold air. Still these areas of low pressure being held at bay by the block of uh, blocking air of high pressure and the block of cold air that's sitting to our north and our northeast. The GFS Midnight Rub again has that uh, Easterly and a little trough coming through on Friday. A little area of low pressure midnight into Saturday across parts of East Anglia. Again, if this was winter, this would be a real snowmaker, but it's April, so it's only going to be cold rain. Um, Sunday looks like that. Midnight Sunday, again, we've got low pressure sitting over the country, bringing further showery conditions uh, with it. And uh, as we go on into the early part of next week, where winds are in from a cold north northeasterly direction, coldness bring wintry showers, maybe snow showers into northern and eastern parts of Scotland. Maybe next week sees a ridge building through the country. That will be within quite cold air. So what happens with that? So it probably get cold nights with overnight frost. But by day in the April sunshine, late April sunshine, probably see the temperature. Um, lifting into teens Celsius. And then as we run up towards day 10, we bring low pressure through. So this back holiday weekend, low pressure starts to push through, bring further rain, uh, but also lifting the temperature up a little bit. And behind that, we start to build an area of high pressure. So for back holiday Monday, early early May, back holiday Monday, 1st of May, um, we actually have a nice little area of high pressure then building back to our north. Winds are back in from the east again, so it won't be particularly warm, but um, it does turn drier through the bank holiday weekend. And as we get to the end of the GFS Midnight Road, gets to the 4th of May, May the 4th be with you, um, the ridge is still just about holding on. However, we have got low pressure lurking in the Atlantic, and uh, I think that does look a little bit ominous, maybe, for the coronation. A couple of days after that will be uh, the King's Coronation on the 6th of May. And of course, we've got the long weekend, uh, 6th, 7th and 8th of May. It's like Coronation weekend, I suppose. And uh, this low here is a little bit <laughs> ominous for uh, His Majesty's, I think. Um, but we'll see. Right, but GFS 6Z again. We're pulling in those easterly winds. On Friday, when you show a condition, a little low coming in with those easterlies, a bit of snow maker if it's winter, just to bring cold rain because it's April. Um, <laughs> into the only part of next week, down comes those cold north northeasterlies as well. Uh, and then get this ridge again building through the country with the GFS. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold your horses, hold your horses, hold your horses. We've got a mistake here. This is the big night run again. We drink out, we drink out, we drink out. Hold on. Here we go. I can do it manually. So, uh, this is the sixer. Forget that happened. This is the sixer. <laughs> right, okay, let's do that again. A little trough of uh, low pressure. You only shoot in for the mistake. Come on, be honest. You're only watching to see if I'll mess up. Um. <laughs> Um, right, <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddy. The, uh, get a different day job now, do day job, do day job, day job. Um, right, so here we go then, uh, with the GFS 6Z, uh, for Friday, a little trough, turning across the south, 
<laughs> showery conditions to England and Wales. I'm going to do this by hand. Look at this area low pressure forms across the country into Saturday. That could bring an unsettled and cool start to the weekend. Uh, that's Sunday. The area low pressure touring. High pressure blocking around green and ice wind going in to the north. It was cool, maybe quite cold and unsettled. What? So is. Let's do that again. Maybe this isn't going very well, is it? Uh, that's me. Uh, uh, six then for next Monday. Winds are in from the north and uh, from the northeast. Uh, bend. So we're looking rather cold and uh, not very spring-like, has to be said. Uh, that's Tuesday again. Northerly winds are going to bring overnight frost, almost certainly. And probably wintry showers to the north, maybe snow showers to northern and uh, eastern parts of Scotland. Now, it's like cut off the northerly by Wednesday as a ridge begins to build through the country. So that should bring um, drier conditions. And by night, probably still quite cold. By day, uh, perhaps not too bad in the late April sunshine. That ridge still dominating into uh, the second half of next week. Up to day 10. That's how we look. Nice area of high pressure getting back in. It is a cold ridge. It's built down from the north rather than building up from the south. So still probably bringing overnight frost. Cover up your delicates. Could be frost on all nights next week with that. But again, um, by day in the late April sunshine, it probably won't be too bad temperature wise. Now, what happens beyond that as we go through the back body weekend? It looks like high pressure will be in control of things. So gradually through the bank holiday weekend, whilst it stays cool, uh, with the high pressure always out to our north and northwest, so certainly not a heat wave, but quite a bit of dry weather for the bank holiday weekend, chilly, um, again, probably still an ongoing risk of overnight frost. What happens if we get to the end of the GFS 6 set? Let's have a look. So um, we're on the, uh, getting closer to the bank holiday, uh, the following bank holiday weekend. <laughs> it's very difficult to work out all these bank holidays this year. But the following bank holiday weekend for the coronation. Again, the high pressure is there. We have got quite a bit of low pressure in the Atlantic. Do these areas of low pressure have our name on it? Uh, to uh, give a washout for the coronation, we shall see. If you're enjoying the video, well, why wouldn't you be? Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Web. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Around 65 subscribers now is all we need to get ourselves to 15.8k. So please give us a sub to our friends and family to subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing this. For us. Okay, GM, again, that little trough coming across the south on Friday could bring some showery conditions, or will bring some showery conditions at the end of the week. Into the weekend, low pressure begins to take over in situ across the country. A rather complex setup, but expect an increasing risk of showers or long spells of rain through the uh, weekend. On into the early part of next week, that low pressure clears out of the way. Winds go into that cold north northeasterly, but it starts to turn drier. And then into the second half of next week, high pressure slips to our east, low pressure out in the Atlantic. We begin to pull up a milder southerly south easterly. So by day 10, GM is turning things milder with southerly south beaches. However, the areas of low pressure are probably threatening rain uh, from the Atlantic for the bank holiday weekend. That's the uh, May Bank Holiday Weekend, remember, not Coronation Weekend. Um, and uh, then the ECM at WF looking like this. Uh, we're back, Shari Trough, on Friday. What happens after that? Well, low pressure so takes over across the country through the weekend, suggesting showers or longer spells of rain through the weekend and quite chilly temperatures as well. Early part of next week, not as much of a north northeasterly with the ECM as the other model output, but still quite cold anyway through the early part of next week. Then the second half of next week, again, uh, the high pressure slips east will start to bring up milder air from the south, albeit low pressure in the Atlantic could be threatening some rain for the bank holiday or weekend. Let's have a look at the precipitation broadcast based on the ECM run from Tometio.com. Showers in the southwest for the next day or so. The main dry until around Thursday, Friday, when low pressure starts coming in from the east, that means showers and or longer spells of rain. Comes some quite heavy rain across England and Wales on the Friday. Goodness gracious me, I don't know. Into the weekend, further showery conditions. Um, and then we get wet weather coming in from the south, actually, by the beginning of uh, next week. 
Um, later next week, a band of rain, possibly with some sleet and snow mixing, pushes northwards and eastwards into that cold air. And then that introduces milder air for the southwest, but with showery distance by Friday, the 28th of April. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. From the Icelandic Met Office, as we get us to the 28th of April, 15 members of the ECM ensembles with lots of low pressure in the Atlantic and to our north, our northeast. High pressure blocking around Greenland and high pressure over France. It's a very complex scenario, but to probably milder air being brought up from southwest into the south will still be quite chilly though up in the north. 13 looking very similar. Again, high pressure there, low pressure through there. So, um, again, probably bring the winds up from the Atlantic map. 12, much more anti-cyclonic. High pressure reaching through the west of Europe. That should bring quite a bit of dry weather. And then 11, with low pressure through the country. High pressures around France. On winter coming in from the southwest, that looks quite unsettled and zonal. And then in two weeks' time, this is the option map we've got. Gets us to the 3rd of May, just beyond the Bank Holiday weekend. And it doesn't look too bad, actually. We've got, a, we've got an, I should say, an area of high, high pressure over the top of the UK. Either a ridge, probably, rather than an area of high. Um, I think that's more of a ridge. And so that should bring quite a bit of dry weather. Low pressure is in the Atlantic. Um, so where we go beyond that, you know, remains to be seen. Right, CMSV2, uh, these are 500 millibar height anomalies broken down into week periods. The first week period text should be 18th to be 24th of April. Coming week has high pressure to our north, northeast, low pressures out there. There's some low pressure just to our south as well, winds in from the east, so it looks chilly and unsettled, especially near that little low there, uh, down in the south. Week. Two is going to be the 25th of April to the 1st of May. Trough of low pressure over Scandinavia and in the Atlantic. A ridge down towards Spain and blocking area of high pressure near Green. Very complex. So we're trying to bring up southwesterly winds like that. We're trying to bring down northerly winds like that. There's probably a divide somewhere that will bring uh, some wet weather. Week three <laughs> could be the second to the 8th of May with high pressure towards Spain and uh, the winds more generally coming in from west southwest of that. So it could still be a little bit showery, but it should be quite mild. And then week four is going to be the 9th to the 15th of May. Trough of low pressure back in over Scandinavia. High pressure still around Greenland. High pressure also around Italy. Um, I think that could be going a little bit more northwesterly or northerly there. So into the second week of May, probably rather cool, <laughs> I'm afraid. And uh, a little bit on the unsettled side too. But it's four weeks away, so let's not worry about that. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, subscribe, and show you everybody do that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gaz Love. It's amazing, incredible. Thank you so, so everybody for doing that. 65 subs gets us to um, 15.8k, so please give us a sub and thank you so very much for doing that. We're going to have the uh, El Nino update, El Nino watch for April 23. It's coming up for you. Um, this evening at 7pm tomorrow we have a 6am upload we will have the USA extended forecast and there'll be a 10 to 14 down I may get a mid-season review for the spring forecast in tomorrow as well if not tomorrow that'll be Thursday I just watch this space lots and lots of content coming up please keep checking back to the channel for more but uh, for this one that's all for now and thanks so much.